Now, I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, whatever happened to that band Queensryche? That way back in the day had that kind of really good, but also kind of self-important hit with the song Silent Lucidity, you know, the acoustic guitar and the, the super trippy Pink Floyd-esque, or trying to be Pink Floyd-esque lyrics. And now you're asking yourself the question, Daryl, whatever happened to Queensryche? Daryl, whatever happened to Queensryche? Well, it's, it's funny you should ask, internet people. Queensryche are still continuing on. Um, however, the original lineup has been vastly changed since their original days back in the early 80s and into the late 90s. Original lineup has changed over and over and over again. So much so that original, original singer Jeff Tate is no longer in the band. But what if you're asking yourself the question, what if I wanted music from two bands called Queensryche? Well, back in 2013, you could have had two music from two bands named Queensryche. There was a Jeff Tate left the band, and he and and the band ostensibly fired him because they they were accusing him and his his wife, who was the manager at the time, of um, basically bilking the rest of the band out of uh, out of royalties from merchandise sales, which I I don't know if there was a ruling on that, but. Jeff left the band, and he got himself a, a new band, and they called themselves Queensryche. Meanwhile, the original band, the rest of the band of Queensryche, got a new singer and continued to tour and make music under the name Queensryche. So they went to court, and they battled, and the judge at that time said, well, you guys got a bunch of other legal stuff on the go, so until you figure out the royalty stuff and the, and the, the money stuff, I'm not going to rule on who gets the name. So you both get to use the name Queensryche. And for 2012 and 13 and uh, into 14, there was two bands called Queensryche making music. And interesting enough, the, um, <laughs> the Jeff Tate Queensryche's album was called F.U., which, I mean, it just said F.U. on the cover, but it was called Frequency Unknown, which, I mean, very clever, Jeff. <laughs> I, whew, I almost went over my head. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about their most popular and uh, most commercially successful album, Empire, from two, uh, 2000. Oh, boy. From 1990. It's 25 years old now. It's had um, some re-releases in uh, DTS Audio, which really wasn't all that interesting. I, I, I wish the, the engineer for the DTS Audio had taken some time and, and actually done a good multi-channel job of it. Regardless, Empire was my introduction to Queensryche, you know, um, and especially it was uh, Jet City Woman and the title song Empire, and then of course the bombastic, uh, again aforementioned Silent Lucidity that sort of cemented their status for at least the summer of uh, 1991, or was it even as far as 92? No, it was 91. I was in grade 10. Holy cow! Anyways. Queensryche is um, sort of a prog metal band, and they've never strayed away from their prog roots. They still very much uh, make music as much influenced by Iron Maiden as, uh, as it was Pink Floyd. Um, and uh, that's what I have to say. Queensryche's Empire, um, it still gets played at least once or twice a year from my collection. I uh, go to my wall and go, what do I feel like listening to? And I see Queensryche, and I go, oh, Queensryche. I haven't listened to them in a while. Do I want to listen to uh, Here and the Now Frontier? Or do I want to listen to one of their other albums? And I say, no, I don't want to listen to, uh, you know, this, that, or the other thing. I want to listen to Empire. And it's worth listening to. If you like metal, if you like loud, if you like good guitar playing and, and excellent musicianship, check it out. My name's Daryl. I've been your critic. Uh, check out my other videos, like, subscribe, share, and uh, tell me uh, who is your, I don't want to call this a guilty pleasure band, but who is, a, who is a late 80s, early 90s metal band, prog rock band that you think I should check out? That's it for now. Album a day online. I'll talk to you again. Don't stop listening to music.